Hi everybody, I'm Amanda Finks and I'm getting ready to show you how to make my recipe for the best classic meatloaf. This recipe is huge right now. It's got tons of rave reviews and people keep coming back to make it over and over again because it's that good. This is a classic meatloaf recipe made with ground beef and breadcrumbs and with a sweet and tangy ketchup based glaze on top, just like mom used to make. Let's get started. So I'm going to start by adding a pound of lean ground beef to a large mixing bowl. That's actually 90% lean ground beef, and I like using the lean ground beef in this recipe because it helps to keep that off-putting pool of grease that you sometimes get in some meatloaf recipes. So the 90% is really good here. I've got one cup of dried breadcrumbs, and these are just the plain store-bought breadcrumbs, a half a cup of diced yellow onion, and a half a cup of milk. I'm going to add one large egg that's been beaten and two tablespoons of ketchup. I like to put a little bit of ketchup in the meatloaf itself to give it that nice sweet and tangy flavor in the meatloaf as well as on top. I've got one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And now we can add some of our seasoning. We've got one teaspoon of dried parsley leaves. And in here I've got three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, just to give it that lovely mild garlic flavor throughout the meatloaf, and a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper. Now that we've got all of our ingredients together, we can go ahead and stir up our meatloaf. And the best way to do that is with our clean kitchen hands. Now you really want to stir this up well. This is not like a meatball recipe where you'd be concerned about over mixing. You can really get in there and squeeze it together and make sure it's really well combined. So now we can transfer the meatloaf mixture into a loaf pan. And one of the things that I like to do to make it really easy to get the meatloaf out of the pan is just line it with a little bit of parchment paper. This is totally optional. I probably only do this about a half the time, but after the meatloaf cooks, you can just grab onto these handles here and pull it right out and it just makes it really easy to get it out. So I'm going to do that this time. And I've already got my parchment layer cut. Now I'm going to pour this meatloaf mixture into my loaf pan. I'm still just using my hands because I got to pat it all down anyway. Okay, so I want to pat the meatloaf down into a flat layer because the glaze that we're gonna put on top of this is kind of thin in the beginning. So if I had kind of a mound in the center of the meatloaf, the glaze would just kind of pool around the edges of the pan. We don't want that. So we're gonna push it down really flat. Okay, so now I'm gonna make the glaze for the meatloaf. So I'm gonna start out with a quarter cup of ketchup. I'm just gonna add that to a small bowl. And I've got two tablespoons of packed light brown sugar and one tablespoon of red wine vinegar. Now I'm just going to whisk this up. Oh my goodness, you guys, this glaze is just so good. It's already starting off with the ketchup, which is kind of sweet and tangy to begin with, but then we're adding even more sweetness with the brown sugar and a little bit more tang with the vinegar. And whenever you cook it up, it gets kind of thick and sticky. It's fantastic. Okay, so I'm gonna take my glaze and I'm gonna pour it over the meatloaf and then I'm gonna spread it out into an even layer. See it's a little bit thin right now. But as it cooks, it's gonna thicken up and it's gonna get kind of sticky and just so yummy. I'll just spread this out. Spread it out to the edges to get everything nice and coated. Okay, my meatloaf is ready to go into the oven, so I'm just gonna put this in a 350 degree oven and bake it uncovered for 55 minutes. Okay, you guys, I've got my meatloaf cooked and I've let it sit in the pan for 10 minutes. The reason I wanna do that is because as soon as you take it out of the oven, if you tried to take the meatloaf out of the pan and cut it up at that point, it would just fall apart. So you need to let it chill out in the pan for about 10 minutes and then you can start cutting it up. So since I used my parchment paper, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this out. Set it on my cutting board. And now it's ready to cut. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't even tell you how excited I am to take a bite of this. Mm. 
Guys, it's so good. The texture is spot on. It's not too mushy, it's not too tough. The meat is flavorful and juicy without being greasy. And that sweet and tangy glaze topping, that's where it's at. Thanks for joining me today. If you like this recipe, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. And be sure to let me know what you think about it in the comments section below. Be sure to follow The Wholesome Dish for more great recipe videos every week. Thanks for watching.